It's a foggy day in Tenna, a small mountain farming village hidden in the secluded Safian Valley in eastern Switzerland. The place has 112 inhabitants, a school, a little shop, one small hotel and restaurant, and a unique attraction, the world's first solar ski lift. When it was time to restore the old lift, we thought we could run it on solar power, since we already have a lot of solar panels on the roofs of our stables. Since the roof of the lift station didn't provide enough space, we had the idea of building the panels on the lift itself. The panels are placed above the 450 meter long lift. They automatically tilt when snowfall threatens to cover them. But how much electricity does it produce on a day like today? At the moment, only 38% is produced by solar power. The rest we take from the local electricity grid. But as soon as the sun comes out, the figures change and the panels produce more than the lift uses. On sunny days, the lift actually produces twice as much as it consumes. The surplus is fed into the local electricity grid and can be used to make up the difference in bad weather. And when the ski season is over, the panels continue doing their job. When the ski lift is switched off in spring, it turns into a solar power plant. It doesn't harm the landscape, since the lift and pillars stay in place anyway. All the electricity is fed into the grid and is sold as solar electricity. In a year, the solar lift produces 90,000 kilowatts, while it only consumes a maximum 25,000 kilowatts during the three months it runs in winter. It's unlikely that the lift, which is the only one in the region, will attract masses of tourists. But it stands for what Tenna is, the right place for people seeking an alternative to the hustle and bustle of the larger ski resorts. Here, we don't feel the Euro crisis. We have many regular guests who identify themselves with the region. They keep coming and make their contribution to what's going on here. The new ski lift was made possible partly thanks to our holiday guests.